I am KB and you know my question is for each of you but I'll start with Dominique. You know, what did you personally learn by portraying these real life black icons and change makers? I think the um the biggest lesson for me or probably the biggest takeaway was a uh, a a real sort of grounding in the understanding that our decisions, our choices, the ways that we choose to be involved have real lasting effects. I think it's easy, the farther we get from, uh, from these times that we're portraying, which is in sort of the height of the black power movement. And also during the time of like the black student, student movement, I think it's, as we get farther away from that, it's easier to think that, okay, well, my voice, my movement, it, it doesn't really matter. I, I'm only one person, but doing this really showed me that, no, it, it took each of these people, each of these individuals to make that decision that this was how they were going to live their life. And with, when you have so many people that are thinking that way, that are like-minded in that way, and that are committed in that way, then the collective can make change. And so I think that's probably the, 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 the largest imprint that, that this role in this, this movie has, has had on me. What about you, Algie? Yeah, I, I kind of don't want to echo what Dom was saying, but she, <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I mean, but to be honest, it just kind of, yeah, I think the biggest thing that, that I left with was that there's still, there's still power in certain unity. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times we can be on this, especially nowadays, it's like everyone is for themselves. And it's just the way that life is. It's like, we all gotta just watch out for ourselves and protect ourselves and make sure we got what we need is comfortable. But when you lay your life down for a certain mission, you know what I'm saying? Everything else becomes like, that's just tunnel vision. And when you can get everybody on that same accord, you can really make change and overthrow certain things. And so I feel like the biggest, the biggest thing for me that I took away was just like, there is, there is still power. There is still strength in numbers. There is still power in like-minded um, things that are that are causing for right that are called for righteousness. I feel like. Uh, um, me, I'd say um, the um, the the the, um, the need to empower um, the youth. Because I think that there becomes this idea that like um, they um, at, at your certain age, there's things that you can't do that you can't accomplish. They were kids. They were yeah. they were kids. Fred, you know, Chairman Fred was 21 when he was assassinated. And I think that, you know, that's such an important point to drive home um, to, the, to the next generation is like, don't let anybody tell you you're too young to change the world. You know, right. I think that especially in the black community. You know, because we get beaten down every day, you know, just for being us, you know. Um, and so, like, I think it's so important that these young black kids understand, like, they are going to be the generation that changes the world and that they're, they are not defined by their, their age. They are, you know, they are defined by the soul and the spirit that they have, which is stronger than anything on earth. Yeah, absolutely. And you touched on something that I was going to ask just in terms of what you hope these children of the next generation as the audience who will be watching this and likely even learning about some of them, you know, the Black Panthers for the very first time, what they gain. But, you know, obviously playing these, these icons in your own lives, that has to, to do something for you personally, just in terms of legacy and the legacy that you would like for your art to leave. So can you share a little bit more about how, you know, kind of these portrayals will, will honestly kind of, um, you know, in turn impact the legacy that you want to leave for your own personal life uh, through your career and your personal actions? And I'll start with Dominique again. Um. I think the first thing that came to mind uh, when you talk about empowering the younger uh, generation was just this need to to remember, you know, and to draw strength on on that on that legacy. I think that's such a brilliant uh, choice of of word. I think it's so so tough as a young person now, as much as they are at the the front lines of of uh, speaking up and being the voice for the change that they need to see. We're also going through a wild time right now in the middle of a whole pandemic, which we haven't seen in like a hundred years. And it's so easy to get distracted and distraught and, and weighed down by the weight of 
the fact that on top of all that, I am a, a black person and my body, my personhood is not respected in the ways that I know it should be. Um, and so I, I hope that in watching this, that they're remembered, they're reminded of that legacy and that they do feel empowered by, by, by the beauty. Because the truth is that that fight, that struggle, the lives that were lost, all the rallies and speeches that are depicted, they are in, they are for that innate beauty that we know we have. They're speaking up and they're taking this action to protect and to try and say that we know that this thing that we are, which is beautiful, empowered, smart, excellent human beings deserves to be respected. And I hope that that message, the cause of it all, the root of it all is, it comes out in, in, the, pe in the people that, that watch this, especially in the younger, in the younger generation. Ooh, well, that was beautiful. Um, if you guys have something to add, please feel free. But my goodness, don't think that was beautiful. <laughs> President Dom. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh, president. <laughs> I said what I said. I'm, I'm, oh, President. <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for this beautiful film and your contributions to it. Um, I am looking forward to seeing you all in more things in the future. So just thank you so much and have a great day. Thank you, KB. Appreciate you. Thank you.